Prized for his outgoing temperament and distinctive good looks, the soft-coated Wheaton Terrier has no trouble attracting attention wherever he goes. Although the soft-coated Wheaton Terrier has been a recognized breed in Ireland since the late 1930s, his place in history is undoubtedly older. Many conflicting stories exist describing the origin of the soft-coated Wheaton Terrier. Most is conjecture, but there is little doubt that the soft-coated Wheaton Terrier shares its history and origin with both the Kerry Blue and Irish Terriers. The Wheaton became known as a superb companion, hunter, and guardian. The first Wheatons arrived in the United States in the early 1940s and were recognized by the AKC in 1973. His unique non-shedding coat and merry disposition have made the soft-coated Wheaton a popular addition to the Terrier group. You'll be seeing many soft-coated Wheaton Terriers during this presentation. Some are outstanding examples of the breed, others are less so, but all will help your understanding of the breed. In general appearance, the soft-coated Wheaton Terrier is a medium-sized, hardy, well-balanced sporting terrier, square in outline. He is distinguished by a soft, silky, gently waving coat of warm Wheaton color and a remarkably steady disposition. You should get an impression of an alert, happy animal, graceful, strong, and well-coordinated. Dogs should stand between 18 and 19 inches at the highest point of the shoulder and should weigh between 35 and 40 pounds, while bitches should stand 17 to 18 inches and weigh between 30 and 35 pounds. Heights over or under those specified by the standard are to be considered major faults. Any deviation must be penalized according to the degree of severity. The Wheaton should appear square in outline. That is, height at the highest point of the shoulder should equal the length of the body, measured from point of shoulder to the rearmost projection of the upper thigh. The Wheaton is a well-balanced animal and requires moderation both in structure and appearance. Moderate, when applied to a square, long-legged terrier, should not be confused with ordinary, nor imply lack of elegance. As with any coated breed, it's important that you feel through the coat to determine actual balance and proportion. Artful trimming can give a false impression of length of neck, length of back, faulty top lines, and other structural faults. <laughs>